right, we're checking out the only game where the bigger the wheels get, the bigger my regret becomes, it's GTA. We wanted to find out which wheels in GTA can climb stairs the best, and so Alex has created a brand new challenge, but that's not all. With help from new modder friends, we're putting Alex's insane challenge board against fully programmed, customized, drivable wheels. I have to pilot these hideous monstrosities up an entire tower of stairs, each worse than the last. As the staircase goes up, the stairs get taller. And as you can imagine, each staircase also has Alex's fun baked into it. I have all these different wheels to drive, but as always, only one can be successful. Let's do this. Well, this is the weirdest day of my life. I opened up a hubcap and stepped inside of a wheel. This is a real thing that is happening right now. Ma'am? Ma'am, are you lost? If you don't leave, you're going to become a test subject. A few seconds later. You are now a test subject. All right, wheel works pretty good. Each next staircase increases by half of a foot. I love that after the last torture session I was involved in, Alex starts us with baby step staircase. Now you may be saying to yourself, great, how exactly does a tire drive? What would you give this handling? I think this is clearly the oddest thing I've ever driven in GTA. It is impossible to describe how weird it is driving this thing. Where do these joggers keep ending up on my course? What am I driving? This is like a cart tire from an Amish horse and buggy or something. Wow. I'm not gonna lie, trying to drive a single tire is not easy. The problem is I'm used to having a wheelbase, okay? I'm used to having a vehicle with width. My car. Oh my god! What is it like in here? Oh! Wow! It's got upholstery and everything in here! Oh. Oh god. Oh, you actually move in a circle inside the wheel. I mean, it makes sense, I guess, but I would be projectile vomiting all over the inside of this thing within five seconds. Right now, I would have lost 35 pounds. Maybe this is a new weight loss fad. Hey! Oh god. Very bouncy as well. I think I understand now why Alex started me off with baby steps. Because it's not just the course that I'm going to have to mentally prepare for. It's the terrible tires that I'm driving. Hey, I got to the second part of the staircase. Yay. Flooded staircase. Oh, God. Oh, there is a boat on the course. Right on the course. You guys, just hang out there. Old Gray's got to... Oh, God. Old Gray's got to complete the flooded staircase challenge here. Hey! Well, that was karma. At least it doesn't flood out because it's only a tire. If I had to give this tire a numerical score... Based on how good it handles, it's at about a negative 10. Which one you use like the Lamborghini of tires? You look good. Okay. Uh, well, get, this one actually has rubber, so I mean, that's gotta be decent. Okay. Yeah, I like it. It's got a little bit of pickup. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, boy. We got spinners on the rims, too. I love it. It definitely handles better than the first tire. Although, this is a climbing board, not so much a handling board, so we'll find out how well it... Kind of hard not to drift a single tire, though. What I was going to say is, but we need to see how well it can climb up stairs. Now, at the moment, we're only doing 12-inch stairs, so this still isn't that bad. Wastelander staircase. I am at a loss. I have no idea what that means. I know what the wastelander is, but how is that a staircase? Oh, there's wastelanders, like on the stairs. Oh, the wastelanders are trying to murder me. Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. oh they disappear. They're a little bit staggered, so I guess I just have to dodge the gray-hating wastelanders here. Just, oh no. <laughs> wastelanders, remember how much you and I have been through together? We're like brothers, you and I. Not, not the kind of brothers that hate one another and try and murder one another. Like in basically every single medieval lifestyle game and or movie. This isn't so bad. Yeah, this, this tire definitely drives well. Uh, whoa, what in the glitchy? It drifts a little bit, which I guess is expected from, uh, you know, a, a nice performance tire like this. I, I use the word performance loosely. This isn't too bad. I can, it, it can definitely climb the foot tall. 
face. Anyone here ever done the Gravitron at a, at a fair or like a carnival? I picture this as that, except you don't have to spend any tickets in order to do it. Uh, and it never ends. And eventually you probably die. On the plus side, windmill staircase. Okay, so now we're at 18 inch stairs. I will say though, so far the rubber tires are beating the 1200s wooden tires. Never thought I'd be putting a tire from a Chrysler 300 against a tire from a Roman chariot or something. So, so far so good. Now, fortunately, again, I never thought I would say this, because I'm driving a tire, there's not much space for the windmills to hit. Like the target surface area is both very, yeah, it's both very narrow and very short, which is really good. Also, I won't say that the tire climbs well, but it definitely violently gyrates up the stairs in an almost hypnotic and poltergeistic way. <laughs> Look at it go. <laughs> also, one of the windmills is just on the ground. How am I supposed to dodge that? Oh, God. Oh, hey. Oh, I can land this. I can land this. I'm going to stick the landing with a tire. Yeah. No. All right, the tire lifestyle isn't easy, but I didn't choose the tire lifestyle. The tire lifestyle, it didn't really choose me. It was more chosen by Alex for me. <laughs> kind of just getting tortured no matter which way I look at it. Ooh, took some of my rubber off on that one. All right, maybe if I go to the very edge, I can kind of, yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh God, no. Okay, what is happening? Whoa, hi. Uh. Maybe I can land in this boat. Nope. 86 billion times. Oh! <laughs> oh, what a save! I don't really know how that worked, but uh, totally saved the tire from falling off the board. So we'll. How? No! <laughs> so we'll go ahead and count it. I just have this last stair left. We gotta squeak past up in the air. Oh! Aerial dodge! Just barely skirts the outside of the board and we're on icy staircase. I don't know. Are these like uh, these Michelin tires? I love that you can see me inside of the tire from this perspective. Look how <laughs> my feet are moving. It took a little bit too, but once I entered the tile, the entire board got snowy. So now I have to deal with the entire board being snowy. <laughs> oh my God. The traction on this is absolutely garbage. Oh, wow, this is awful. We're only at like, what is this, two foot stairs? I mean, I'm gonna try and get as much speed as possible, but I don't know if this tire can get through this. Yeah, it just, it just straight up slams into the, into the stair. All right, we're gonna pick another wooden style wheel, or maybe this is just rusted metal. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> No. <laughs> That's like being a hamster inside the wheel. That's what they say about Greystill plays. The, the wheel's turning, but the hamster's dead. <laughs> so I can tell you right now, I've only been driving this thing for about 30 seconds. This thing drives like a stick of butter. Imagine putting some bike handlebars on a stick of butter. That is what I'm driving right now. It is awful. Whoa. Got to the flooded staircase like it's no big deal. All right, the flooded staircase isn't bad. Imagine playing with a half broken Xbox controller that also hates you and is possessed by the devil. All right, well, I mean, we got to the wastelander area somehow. It climbs great. It just drives like a lima bean that someone put a Tesla engine into. Oh, whoa, hey, okay, yep, there we go. Just spinning like a top, no big deal. No, no! This was a terrible idea, I hate myself. All right, we're never speaking of that wheel again. What happened to the rim? What is this? Oh, it's a drunken tire. Wow, this is why you get your wheels balanced. Do you know what I spy? A test subject. You just, the thing that really scares me right now is the drunken tire has better handling than the normal non-drunken tires. I am on the waterboard and this thing is basically speed running it. I'm on the wastelander board. 
This is ridiculous. I love that anywhere else you should never drink and drive unless you're driving a possessed demonic tire from the car Christine. Then all bets are off and I guess you could do it because wow, this is incredible. Top speed, trash. But the ability for it to climb stairs and you know, turn left and right which shouldn't be a difficult thing for a drivable object to do. But when you have one single tire, it is a monumental task. Look at this. One try, oh, hold on. I don't want this thing to spawn on top of me. One try, windmill staircase. This is unbelievable. Oh, wow. This is incredible. It's not even struggling to climb this stuff. Ah, that was the first time I messed up somewhere with this thing. This is fine. We got it. We got this. I'm getting right to the end. I just need a little... Mm, just need a little bit of... Ah! What I was trying to say is I just need a little bit of patience. I was right here. Icy staircase. Can this thing climb it? Uh, oh, I'm going to get a little bit more speed here. And then if I waggle my hips a lot, we, it can absolutely climb the icy staircase. Look at this. I love that the sloth of tires is the one winning so far. It's doing it, but you have to consider as well, again, the traction because it's full winter snow on the icy board is absolutely non-existent. It's like trying to drive something on a piece of wax paper coated by Crisco, okay? It's like someone slathered the entire course in olive oil and it's not, come on baby, here we go. Okay, it's doing it, we're testing it and it is happening. I've got like, this is the last one? This might be the last one, hold on, I need a little bit more speed. All right baby, you can do it, you can do it, you're right there. Come on, just one strong, there we go, there we go. Icy staircase, done. Closing staircase. Uh, is it? That wall moving? Oh, the wall is definitely moving. Okay, I wasn't sure what it meant by closing staircase. I think I get it now. So you need to complete this staircase. Oh, it can almost climb it. You need to complete this staircase before this thing pushes you off the edge and kills you. Did you make this close all the way? Oh, you sure did. I mean, there's a tiny little area that it doesn't close. Even a single tire is not gonna fit on that. Okay, so I didn't really time to see how long I get, but we can get, well, well, maybe not. I was gonna say we can get over the stair. We're at about two and a half foot stairs now. All right, come on. Uh-oh, I may be wrong. It's starting to glitch out really bad. This might be where this tire can get to and that's it. Ho, hair likes tetanus. Man, I cannot get over the stairs. Line it up. No, it's not gonna work. You know what time it is. It's time to pick a real tire. Oh yeah, listen to that baby purr. Mm. Oh wow. I was just testing how well this tire can climb stuff. Uh, it's pretty much what you would expect. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is amazing. I don't know if I can stop in time. Oh, actually, you know, the brakes are really good. Well, the brakes, the brake. Oh, this is the king. I mean, it makes sense because the tire is like 16 foot tall, but wow. Now, the only problem is because the tire is so big, Ah, dodging the Wastelanders is going to be harder. Fortunately, though, this thing can speed run the entire board up to this point. So getting here is no longer the tedious slog that it was before. Now it happens in 30 seconds. Now to, to, to try and describe how this thing drives, it's kind of like putting, it's like, you know, boxcar. <laughs> You know boxcars when you were a kid, how you kind of had the illusion that you were in control? That's basically what this is. Every once in a while, I feel like if I go to the left, it will turn left. And if I go to the right, it will turn right. And then I find out that I am sorely mistaken when it does not do those things. But we're at the windmill area. All right. Climbs the windmill steps, no problem. You know, it does the windmill area pretty good. Again, because even as a big 
bloated. Oh! Oh! Saved! I was gonna say, even as a bloated tire, can I swing the butt end around? I can't because there is no back end to this tire. It's just a tire. So I have to I have to do like a 35 point K turn in order to turn this thing. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, that is that is very anxiety inducing. You do not have a lot of width on either side in order to do this. So this one is just time. Yeah. No. Yes. It's all about timing on this one. This tire is really good at saving itself. Also, I have no idea how this thing stayed on the board, but I'm so thankful it did. Bam! Right there. Like it's nothing. Right, now we're gonna squeeze past this one. Oh yeah! Easy. Now we just have to not get I just have to not get domed every two seconds, and this thing can make it. There we go. Icy staircase. The icy staircase is bad, but it's definitely not impossible. Oh yeah. Nope. Oh god. What is going on? No problem. Alright. It's time to find out if this tire can do the closing staircase, and it can! This is the first tire that could legitimately climb these. I mean, other than just getting lucky every once in a while, but it's climbing pretty good. I guess the big question is, can I do this before I run out of space? Because, uh, I am, I am legitimately starting to run out of space here, man. Can I cheat this? Can I get on top of it? <laughs> no! No, no, Jesse! No, we're going to cheat it! No! No! The depression is real. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, 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 oh God. Okay, I, I, I can't. Oh God, no. Okay, I don't. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm not doing this board over again. I gotta get back to the beginning. Go, 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 go. <laughs> it's easier going downhill than it is climbing. Here for the love of God, I'm right there. Oh my. <laughs> I did not want to have to go to this point again, okay? This is the run. I've got quite a bit of distance left. Well, not quite a bit, but I've got enough to make it. Come on! To make it up the clothing staircase, they get to the you. What is that? Pulsating staircase? That what it says? That sounds awful. Oh, God. Okay. If there's one thing I love, it's a staircase specifically designed to shove your rectum down into your throat. Wonderful. I'm kind of surprised. There we go. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay. I was going to say, I'm kind of surprised at how much dip... What the... God! The pulsating staircase is evil. And how much trouble it's having just trying to get through this. Considering how big the tire is, how are any of the other ones going to be able to do it? All right, I'm, I'm going to try and almost just kind of like power through this or something. Okay, climb it. Oh, that worked out pretty good. Huh. It's almost like there's a sweet spot for the speed right before the speed decides that it doesn't love you anymore. Of course, the fact that the staircase is pulsing also does help. Getting really close to the next level. Yeah! Crazy ball staircase. What are we at? Like three and a half feet or four foot stairs now? Again, how would anything that's not this tire have any chance of climbing this? I do want to test the other ones just to see because I'm having... It's almost impossible in this thing. I feel like all I'm doing is giving myself brain damage at this point. Okay. Straight up. This is as far as this tire can... Ouch! As this tire can get. I'm going to go drown for a moment. There's two tires left. I'm not picking the one on the left. So I guess I'm trying this one. I do appreciate that it has, you know, like spokes so you can see me inside. Oh, whoa. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. okay. Oh, this is like driving a, a Tootsie Roll. Okay. Stair climbing does it all right. Handling, this is torture. This is torture. This is real torture. It, oh God. Imagine trying to tightrope a wall ride at the same time. That's what this feels like. It feels almost impossible to keep this thing in one space. Going one singular direction is not inside of this wheel's realm of possibility. It is a glitchy mess, but it has made it to the Wastelander staircase. Who would have thought that just piloting a mobile Tootsie Roll would be the best tire? I really had no idea. Again, 
If you're going for functionality, D minus. If you're going for stair climbing ability so far, B plus. Whoa. Whoa! Whoa! The surface area of this thing is so tiny. I have no idea how it got hit, to be honest with you. It's kind of, ow. It's kind of wide, but it's so short. There we go. It's so short that I was surprised any of the windmills hit this thing. Made it to the icy staircase. So this thing has no problem doing the icy stairs. The fact that it gets no traction isn't a problem because it never had any traction to begin with. Also climbs these stairs. It just climbs them very, very poorly. But I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to complete this thing. Oh, man. Okay. It's probably one of the smoother climbers. If you can see every once in a while, yeah, it just kind of glitches over the stair. So it climbs it its own unique way, I guess we could say. And it does work. Look at this. This is probably my best time that I've had so far in the closing staircase. We're gonna get to the end with a ton of time left. Like, watch this. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Oh god. All right. I say that, and now I'm now I'm kind of now I'm getting real low on time. I've got like seven feet left to, to figure this out. There we go. Woo. Good god. Pulsating staircase. Can it get past the first stair? Sure can. I hate driving this violent diarrhea mobile, but it can definitely climb some stairs. I'm right there. I've got this one stair left to climb and it keeps, oh, here we go. Oh, 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 and it keeps glitching me backwards. I'm so close. Oh, there we go. Crazy ball staircase. It can climb these stairs. The problem is getting mauled by the crazy ball, which has a certain penchant for gray still plays flesh. I'm not super happy about that, Alex. How is this ball programmed? Because it kind of just do Whoa! <laughs> it kind of just does whatever it wants. All right, remember how I said that it could get over these walls? I was mistaken. I think the one time it was a glitch or maybe I got lucky. Whoa! Because it is not happening anymore. You realize this means I have one tire left, right? This. What is this? It's like the tire off of someone's toy car. Oh. Oh, m oh my god. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. What is happening? This tire's amazing. I don't care about your underwater stairs. And neither does this tire. I should have known that a tire that looks like it's meant to rend someone's body parts off would be the best at climbing things. It drives good. It's responsive. Okay, I, I can dodge. Look at that right there. Look at that strong dodge. It, it is probably the most well-balanced tire out of all the tires. You can see how easily it go- God. How easily it goes from left to right instead of, you know, wobbling all over the place and trying to murder me and trying to murder me. It does what something that's vaguely, you know, reminiscent to a vehicle would do. And it is doing it really well. And it's climbing all the stairs. I am speed running the icy stairs. This thing's grip is incredible. These gotta be Michigan tires. I don't mean Michelin, I mean Michigan. Like the icy roads of Michigan. Oh, everything else was Firestone. This is the one right here. This, this should be the new prototype for the all weather tires right here. Oh yeah, I wanna see this on everyone's McLarens. YouTuber McLarens with these tires. We're gonna do this in one shot, yeah! Pulsating staircase, I have no fear. Oh, all right, I have a little bit of fear. Come on, baby, get up there. There we go, back to having no fear. Everything's fine. So now the crazy ball staircase. This is kind of weird because the ball is, you know, on methamphetamine and also the stairs are very, very tall. But again, look at the climbing power. Just hops right up the stairs. I just need to make sure not to get backhanded by this random ball because no one knows what this ball is thinking. 
Yeet. Mainly I'm hoping it doesn't fire me across the entire board. Uh, never mind. It was breathing down my neck. I am so close to just being done with this crazy ball area. I kind of got the speed. Like the perfect speed. Yeah, to get over these these uh, stairs. Look at this. Beautiful! Yeah! Welcome to the rotating staircase. All right, put your seats on your heads because it's about to go down. And we're on it? Okay. Wow. It can climb it. These stairs are like four feet tall or something at this point. Like three and a half or four feet tall. It is really weird doing this at an angle. Come on, baby. There you go. Then I just have to hold it at the end over here. This wasn't that bad at all. Oh, yeah. We're going to get it. I oh, God. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Now I just have to very perfectly follow this staircase around. <laughs> all right. Get ready. Because we are coming into the landing pad over here. And of course, we're being greeted by stop signs. Because why wouldn't you be? So do I have to jump this? Or do, do you, did you fully connect these, Alex? Oh, wow. It is just barely connected. Welcome to Stop It Staircase. This is what I yell very often when I'm doing these challenges. My neighbor probably thinks I'm getting stabbed right over, right over the stairs. Incredible. Look at this. Bam. No issues. Oh, it's a dosy doing stop sign. That's exciting. Right. Oh, hold on. Oh, God. I just got backhanded by the stop sign. No. Ow. Do not ruin this run for me. I will go completely ballistic. Jump. Okay. That didn't work at all. Ow. Come on, wooden violence tire. There you go. Thumbnail hole. Oh. Thumbnail hole, got it. You've got an Amazon delivery staircase. <laughs> okay. Oh, so sweet. So satisfying. I love destroying people's Christmas presents <laughs> while I try and complete these challenges. But again, look at, look at how incredible this thing is at climbing stairs. Break the glass ceiling staircase. Okay. Oh, this is the Neo of tires. Oh, so now you have to break the glass and then you have to climb. Oh, wow. Or you could do it just in one shot. Watch this. Bam. This tire doesn't take any lip. Urgh. Out of the way. Glass ceiling. Nobody loves you. Okay, maybe this. Yeah, there it is. Okay, perfect. That's what I like to see. This is going all the way. 100%. These... At this point, the wall, you know, the stairs are whatever they are now. Four and a half, five feet, maybe more. I have no idea. Take a flight. So the take flight sign is adding another six inches or something at the very least. Oh, this one, you have to get through the middle of the take flight sign. That didn't work. Maybe the take flight sign helped a little bit, as a matter of fact. Wooden tires for the win. Boss stair. It's just one single stair separating me from liberation of pain here we go ow hey this tire is like the goldilocks of tires you don't want it too fast you don't want it too slow you want it to be just right here we go and ramp it almost i'll never give up yeah Boss stair complete, we have a winner! Well, I'm gonna go replace all the tires on my cars with wood. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of GTA. Till next time, stay foxy and much love.